This is the hotel I stayed in, the Grand Hotel. Okay, so that's it there. So this was a last minute booking last night. And here is Kegness. So it's very foggy, you can't see far. And this is just the opposite the hotel. It looks like a ground for something. But that's it there. It's a nice bench made to last. And that's the hotel where I stayed. The one with the green uh, sign, the Grand Hotel. So let's go check or find breakfast. I wonder what this structure is. Oh, it doesn't say. Maybe a mains for par. Okay, yeah, I think so. All right, and there's a Skegness bin. Look, I love the color. Bits. That's for the cigarette butts. A drive-through KFC. You're not short of uh, places to eat. Uh, today is a Saturday, so this is a Saturday morning. So I'm going to check if I can have breakfast here in this pub. I, oh, they are opened. <laughs> Happy days. Okay, so that's it there. Cookhouse pub. Wow, look at those door handles. Massive. This is my full English breakfast. Eggs, hash brown, sausages, black pudding, mushrooms, tomato, bacon and baked beans. And of course tea. <laughs> Cookhouse pub. The breakfast was nice. Oh, it looks like the sun is coming out which is good so I'm going to walk stroll around <coughs> and walk to go and get a bus to go to Alford there's a nice building there oh, it's a hotel Grovna House Hotel so along the the sea you get lots and lots of hotels eateries name it oh in fact but the cookhouse building uh, is part of premier inn not the same company but in the same building you have premier inn hotel oh well is bar So let's check out uh, Skegness <coughs> on a Saturday morning in October. And here is a map where you can get a map to her. Huh? This one looks like it's been neglected. Yeah, so it's a pound to get the maps. Look how the flags look. So you can see shopkeepers setting up for the day. At this time. And 
Oh, some people need a drive through. Oh, look, that looks like it's supposed to be a flower bed, but now it's a bin. I like, I like the color coordination, the white and green for the street furniture. Yeah, the beans, the benches, and the flower beds. Nice choice of color, and that's the council, East Lindsay Council. It's the council that manages. Uh, Skegness and there's a bus to Maplethorpe. Maplethorpe is another seaside town along the east coast of England. So Skegness is located in Lincolnshire, east of uh, England. So it will be on east of a uh, Lincoln city. So that gives you an idea where it is. So it's uh, one of the still, can we say, functioning seaside towns in England. So you find holiday makers here. Morning, thank you. And they say Tower Gardens. This is the entrance. <coughs> oh, there you go. Oh, so the Skegness Town Council. So I might be wrong about the in East Lindsay district then. Look at these uh, spiders, spider webs. Because of cold. <coughs> Excuse me. Absolute love the benches, the designs. Very beautiful, very nice to look at. Nice street furniture here in Tower Gardens in Skegness. Nice flower bed. It looks nice. He has a children's play area, a pond, and resting areas. Oh, they also have uh, toilet facilities. I can see them on the right hand side as you enter. And there's a cafe at the entrance as well. Oh, amazing. Tower Gardens in a Skegness. And there's a shelter like altar place oh just a resting place with benches and now we leave tower gardens and we are moving on look they already set up for the day this went here when i entered the garden or the gardens yet yeah, you see when you have your own business you wake up early before anyone else to set up There's a structure here. It looks like it's a uh, oh, sheltered sitting area. Oh, look. Okay, so one name. Yeah, I think this might just be a sitting area. If you want to have a rest. It's nice though. I like it. It's a wooden one. Nice design beautiful colors 
again i still i like the color coordination and we are now walking towards two of the main uh, skegness icons or landmarks landmarks so this one here is the jubilee clock so it was uh, put up to commemorate queen victoria diamond jubilee and it's a grade two listed building so that's it amazing so it really looks ni nice at, at night if you're around here so that's it there are grade two listed tower clock so this is one of the icons you will see when you come to skegness so amazing and opposite it is the oh let's check that seaside teddy the seaside so that's some of the skegness sites as well and opposite the tower clock or jubilee clock is the the jolly fisherman statue so there it is so let's walk closer to it so that's another landmark or icon that you will see in skegness when you come Oh, you have the different cities around. Oh, look, Dublin. Dublin is the capital of Ireland. There it is. There's Sheffield, New York, Ottawa, Belfast, capital of Northern Ireland, York, Edinburgh, Newcastle. Oh, no, it shows you which side they are on the campus. So north. I was wondering what that was. So now is northwest. Ah, oh, amazing. And then west. Anyway, you can go around and see. But yeah, let's check the jolly fisherman. One sixtieth birthday. So it's been here for a long time. And that's it. With a fountain. to see both the clock tower and the jolly fisherman in the same shot it's amazing and around the statue is a sitting area so you can sit here and rest there's a stand there for cakes, ice cream, hot and cold drinks and you can sit outside as well. Oh, and there's a place for beers, pizza, there's uh, beans, there are beans. What else is there? Oh, and further down this way is a kids play area. So yes, so this is what you see when you come to see the Jolly Fisherman. So kids play area, sitting area, yeah, amazing. And look, Canberra, southeast. Canberra is the capital of Australia. So I think that's it for the Jolly Fisherman. I hope you enjoyed. City camping. Oh 
more shops are setting up vans delivering oh, but it's nine o'clock now it's not that early so the shops are starting to open of these sort of shops. I just saw a post box and I want to check it like I always do when I'm exploring towns in the UK. So here it is, it's next to a bin and here it is, it's a King George the Fifth. So it has King George the Fifth cipher and that's it. These are the operating times. The key goes there. It's really tall. It's just almost the size, uh, my size. Oh, wow. So that's it. King George the fifth uh, post box in Skegness. I must say I like the street furniture in uh, Skegness. Impressive. St. Paul's Church. And this is my first sighting of a bicycle parking area. There's the street lights and the color starts to change from here. See the street lights or the street lamps with the light blue color and a poppy star on it. More sitting area. Here you get some shops as well, like that, more bicycle parking area, a place to sit and enjoy your snacks, meals, name it from that place, ice cream, nice sign there, nice signpost, yeah, for toilets. I don't know where it's pointing. I think the shopping centre, that one. The real streets of Skegness on a Saturday morning. So this is how it looks. And it's October. So there's the street lights. See that street lamp post with a light, with a camera, with a place to hold flowers. And I think the middle one maybe to hold uh, Christmas lights, if I'm not wrong. Or any other type of... Uh, decoration so it's a multi-purpose uh, street lamp post so the rest is your usual bakeries shops banks oh wow well, that looks like a nice shop but we are not going in. Greg's, you can't miss a Greg's in an English town. It's a prerequisite. And Boots Pharmacy. Another 
a bus heading to Mabelford. So bus, bus 59 takes you to Mabelford. British Heart Foundation shop, so it's a charity shop. So if you need uh, things for low prices, you can go there. And there's another seasider. Oh, it's the same, it's the same one we saw earlier. It's going back. There is a signage for drivers. Yeah, you can get lost here in England. Signage everywhere. Just read, look out, pay attention. You'll be fine as long as you can read English. But I think these days you can also get apps to translate things for you if you're stuck. There's a weather spoon and here I'm not sure what these are I've seen several of them but they are used as advertising uh, posts or places now there's a new modern sign showing you where to go so this way to the interchange so the interchange as so the interchange as the bus station and train station there's also another statue of the jolly fisherman here so yeah, I'm going to quickly just show you the outside of the interchange and then end the video. So some uh, bollards or posts, oh, that's nice, it's more detail there. Well last time I was here there were no trees. I've been here before but last time there were no trees, so some trees, sitting area around the Jolly Fisherman again. How cute is that? With this briefcase. Amazing. So that's it. Jolly Fisherman uh, statue and opposite it is the train station and then beside the train station is the bus station. So that's Skegness. Let me know what you think about it. I like the street furniture in Skegness. I like the harmony of the uh, stuff like benches, lampposts, beans, the color coordination, name it. It looks really nice. But what stood out, stood out for me was uh, the tower gardens. I really liked the street furniture there and how it, it looks how it's maintained and here is an estate hedge and let's check how houses cost how much houses cost in Skegness here's a three bedroom for 180 pounds and it's a freehold sorry 180,000 detached bungalow for 325,000 okay let's see Hello, holiday home, park home for 43,500. And let's check this estate agent as well. So it's a, just a different one. 
detached bungalow, two bedrooms for 220,000. And there's another one for 169,950. And they are both freehold. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a three bed for three seventy five thousand three old detached three bedroom wow it looks nice it's the one on the left on the right too is nice again detached for 250 wow the prices aren't too bad for a seaside town if you ask me but yeah let us know what you think i think they're all right so that's Skagina's uh, property market and there's another one sorry I have to bore you with more property prices 219 for three bedroom four bedrooms for 325 wow the text in this one is so small uh, oh, I can't tell whether it's free old or please hold, but yeah, so that's it. Property market in Skegness. You know what to get or what, how much to to spend to get what. So that's it. So here I am at the bus stop. Okay. So returning from Alford, I got myself a fish and chips with mashed peas and a cup of tea. So that was my meal in uh, Skegness. And this is where to check which bus goes where in uh, Skegness bus station. As you can see, very good signage to see your destination and the number of bus and also the bus stop.